Hey, what's going on YouTube? So lately we've been trying to reduce the weight on my camper trailer. In this video, we're gonna remove the TV antenna. Coming up. So the reason I'm removing the antenna, I don't use it, and it just adds extra weight, extra potential leaks, and I guess drag, but I'm sure that it's negligible, won't even be noticed, but uh, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that so that we don't have to worry about any potential leaks. I think that's the biggest one, but the weight is also another factor. So these have the potential to leak in not just the holes where it's screwed down, but also where the antenna goes in and right in here where the crank handle comes up. This one was separating right here. There's a little rubber grommet right in here. Uh, I just tried to push, put some of the roof sealer on when I was doing the roof just to temporarily uh, seal it because we were gonna get some more rain and it was already separating. So I'm sure it was probably leaking. I didn't notice anything, any damage inside, but I wanted to take care of that, even though I knew I was going to be removing the antenna. I already knocked one of these corners off right here, so it shouldn't be too difficult. This stuff comes off pretty easily. And I just gotta expose the screws to get to them. But this stuff is probably upwards of 12 years old because I've never done anything with it. And the trailer is a 2011. Feels like there's a piece of plastic underneath here that kind of levels it out since the roof is sloped right here. Because this actually looks pretty level. I'm gonna expose these screws, then we'll go down inside, remove the handle off from there because it's obviously not gonna come off the roof with the handle going inside. Okay, on the backside of the handle, we got an Allen key right in here. I've seen some people crank this all the way up. I don't really think we need to. Looks like we have access to all the screws up there. And that just popped right off. That was easy. Now I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do about this hole up here. All right, now we're ready to remove these screws. Just like that, the TV antenna is off. Now I got to finish removing all of this so that we can seal up this hole. I'm just trying to pull it up without taking these screws out. That's a big hole. Yeah, that's a huge hole. All right, now that we got the hole cleaned up, I used a putty knife to get a lot of the bulk material off, and then I used some mineral spirits to clean all the dirt off. We're gonna get a piece of metal, we're gonna put it at over the hole, so uh, that will support the roof, uh, and then we're gonna cover it with a turn on tape. All right, so here's what I came up with. We're gonna do a piece of sheet metal over the top, because like you saw, that's a pretty big hole. Put a piece of sheet metal, this is steel. I would prefer to have found aluminum, but Lowe's didn't have any big enough and I didn't want to do it with multiple pieces. I just wanted to do it with one big piece. On the inside, I just used a piece of Eternabond tape. If I think of something better in the future or if maybe when you guys have an idea, uh, leave a comment below. 
and I am going to put a bunch of great stuff in here. This is an old can, so it's not surprised that it's coming apart. Just be careful, because when you get this stuff on your hands, unless you have acetone, this stuff does not come off. I know some people use that isobutyl tape. tape. I hate that stuff, I can't stand it. It's a pain to work with. So I'm just doing this, it should be fine. You might think to yourself, a battery powered caulking gun? Who would need that? I do. It's amazing. And then we're going to go over the whole thing with the turn bond tape. Okay, so on the inside, I just used some internal bond tape. Probably doesn't look the greatest. There's a bulge there because of the great stuff when it expanded caused a little bit of a bulge there. I'm not that worried about, about it. Uh, I probably won't even notice it. So out here, this is how it turned out. I did have to pull two of the pieces off, which was a pain. Uh, I ran out of tape, so I just left it. And then when the great stuff expanded, it pushed the whole plate up. So I had to remove the tape and uh, cut the foam out and put it back down. I also ended up putting some screws in here to make sure that it stayed down. I wasn't going to, but uh, it doesn't hurt anything to have those screws there. So and ordered some more tape since I ran out, another 25 foot roll so that I could get this completed. And while I was at it, I went ahead and removed the radio antenna. I just threw it on the ground down there for now. I just haven't picked it up. But I went ahead and removed that because I don't use that either. And I'm just gonna end up removing the radio out of there to save some more weight. So this one wasn't too bad. It was uh, pretty easy to do. It'd probably be even easier if you had everything you needed when you started, I used a little bit more tape on the solar panels that I anticipated, so I ran out when I was doing that panel. But if you want to remove the TV antenna off from your trailer, it's pretty easy to do. And the reason, biggest reason I did it was probably because of the potential leaks, not so much because of the weight savings or the drag. But that's it for this video. Uh, keep an eye out for the roof ceiling. Uh, that should be coming out next. And until the next project, we will catch you then. See ya.